for that little child with no father. For that man that doesn't have a place to stay. For that little boy living with AIDS. Can I tell you a story, tell you a story? You can lean on me. There's a man. What's going on, y'all? Pastor G, uh, right here at Red Sea TV Studios, man. You know, I'm the pastor of Life Church Waco, man. And we just want to encourage you. All right, so check this out. Today is a great day to be encouraged, I think. Why? Because a lot of us wake up discouraged, man. I mean, that's just the way it is. Uh, and so we want to encourage you. If you are in a point in your life right now where you're like, you know what, I just need a fresh start. Can I please start over in life? How in the world do I do that? You may be in a, 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 a time in your life where you're just like, man, I don't, I don't think I can do it anymore. I don't think I can, I, I can keep going. I don't see how I can do it. And if you're there, I want to encourage you today. Look what it says in Psalms 145, 14. It reads like this. It says, God gives a fresh start to those ready to quit. And that means you, my friend, if you're ready to quit, if you are ready to quit right now with tears coming out your eyes, you're just so sick and tired of being sick and tired. God says you're right where he wants you. He says, you know what? If you're that person, it ain't over because I want to help you start over. And that's what God wants to do. A uh, couple of things uh, you need to do when you're in that right there when you're about ready to quit and you need that miracle uh, of a fresh start. One thing you do is you grab hold of the moment. I want to uh, read something out of Mark 10, 46 through 47, talking about this blind man named Bartimaeus. And, and let's, let's read what it says about him. As Jesus and his disciples left town, a great crowd was following. A blind beggar named Bartimaeus was sitting beside the road as Jesus was going by. When Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was from Nazareth, uh, that Jesus from Nazareth was nearby, he began to shout at Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. So this guy's sitting on the side of the road and he's begging, he's a beggar. Back in, in, in those days, over 2,000 years ago, uh, when, when you were blind physically, uh, there was no C&I dog. There was no benefits. I mean, there was no checks that you get because you're disabled. None of that. Uh, it simply meant that you could not earn uh, no keep for you. You couldn't work. So uh, this guy was on the side of the road, and you, you got to imagine him being on the side of the road, just sitting there, man, don't know where to go. He can't go. He, he's blind. There's no program to help him. He's just sitting there uh, 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 needy. He is broke, busted, and disgusted, and disgusted, and he's he's uh, uh, feeling like the scum of the earth because everyone else has uh, treated him that way, and so he's just sitting there on the side while people are walking by, uh, and this is not I gotta believe where he wants to be in his life, and I believe that uh, some of you uh, spiritually uh, you're there, you know, that you're on the side of the road and you're sitting there, and you're you're just broken emotionally, physically, and even mentally and and, and spiritually, most importantly. And uh, 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 people look down on you. And you're at a point, just like I said with this guy Bartimaeus, this blind man, uh, where you don't want to be in your life. You're like, man, I, I, I do not want to be here. Who would? Um, but as, as you see, he sees an opportunity, where, and he's humble at this point. Uh, he's just sitting there. He says, man, I ain't got nothing else to lose. And he sees his opportunity. And uh, he yells out Jesus' name. He gets his attention. Uh, and he's basically saying, I want a touch from Jesus. I need you, Jesus. And uh, this guy needed a fresh start and he needed it now. He did not procrastinate. He, he is saying, you know what? I am in pursuit after you, God. I need you. I cannot do this. I can't do this no more. I want to quit. I want to give up. I want you to help me. And so um, if, if you notice, he doesn't say, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to wait another day. You know what? I, I don't think it's going to work today. I'm just going to chill out and just sit here and do what I've always done. I'm going to be right here just sitting down. No, he gets, I mean, he screams, he yells, he goes, Jesus, have mercy on me. I'm desperate. I need you. I don't care. I cannot wait another day. I need it today. I need it now. And so uh, let's read what Jesus says in Luke 9, 62. It reads like this. Jesus said, no procrastination, no backwards looks. You can't put God's kingdom off till tomorrow. Seize the day. Today is your day. You understand? Today is your day. Man, grab a hold of it. All right? Wherever you are, that's just your, uh, a, a word of encouragement for today from us to you. Man, be encouraged. And you know what? Don't, don't hold off any longer, man. Make those uh, next steps. In fact, tomorrow for the rest of this week, we're going to be talking about what those steps are. God bless you. And that's the message for today.
Hope you're encouraged. Here's my shoulder. You can move.